This video is about calculating the time interval, or the change in time. The formula, change in time, is equal to the instantaneous time minus the initial time, or the start time. And we, can, we have that defined here, the time interval, <coughs> or the change in time, that's what delta t is. The t by itself is the instantaneous time, or the time at any moment. And the t0 is the initial time, or the time in the beginning, the time when we started. So let's look at our first example, our level one example. We have Anna, <clears throat> and she's swimming. And these are the times involved when she, when she starts. So this is actually something we can label as time zero. And then we see she ends at this time, a later instant in time, or t. And we want to know the length of time, and that length in time is the delta t. So we have delta t equals t minus t naught. Now let me write that delta t a little more neatly. And a picture might be nice. We could put this on a number line or a timeline. <clears throat> and we see we had 11, 24, 36. And this one is 11, 24, 58. Now this isn't a number line like position where it's the y location or the y position this is just a number so we can see the see the relative numbers to each other we see that time is progressing that way <clears throat> and unlike position time only has one direction it can only go from smaller times to larger times so we have our equation and we know this one is t0 and this one is the instantaneous time and we're looking for that delta t well, when we look at these times, we have to recognize that this is the hours, and this is the minutes, and this is the seconds. So hours, minutes, seconds, and minutes is M-I-N. <clears throat> and if we notice, looking at these times, the 11 clocks are the same. The 11 hours are the same. The minutes are the same. The only thing that's different is the seconds. So we can then define this as T0 is 36 and the instantaneous is 56. So when we list our givens we can say t equals 56 seconds t0 is 36 sec oh it's 58 seconds excuse me 58 and 58 58 and this is 36 seconds and we are looking for delta t. So our final time is 58 and our initial time is 36 and that gives us 22 seconds that is our change in time or our time interval <clears throat> now using our pegasus method we can say we had to have a labeled picture we listed our givens the unknown was delta t so we already had an equation for it we list the relevant equation we solve for the unknown we don't need to and we substituted the values. We calculated and recorded the unrounded answer, which was 22, the units and seconds, and significant digits. Since both of these numbers were to the ones place, well, the final answer, the difference would be the ones place. And then lastly, scientific notation. Well, this again is a number that's larger than 10. So we can express this as scientific notation and that becomes 2.2 times 10 to the 1 seconds. So this is our final answer. And again, remember the reason we're converting it to scientific notation is number one, practice, and number two, it makes it easy for us to then convert it into other metric prefixes. And so that then is our level one example.